Way back when I was a rookie priest, I worked at Good Shepherd in Inwood. And um, the pastor uh, came and said to me, uh, well, Paul, we haven't had Eucharistic ministers at this church so far. So I want you to think about some people that would be good for this ministry and invite them and help them get ready. First person I thought of was um, an Irishman named Peter. He was about 60 years old, often came to daily mass. I knew him, a good man. So I um, saw him in the uh, sacristy one day, and I, I said, Pete, I uh, need to ask you something. He said, yes. I'd like you to serve as a Eucharistic minister. And he said in his uh, delightful accent, ah, but Father, I'm not worthy. Hmm. I looked him in the eye and said, well, that's true, Pete, you're not worthy, but we need you to do it. He was kind of taken aback, but then I think he was getting it, and I said, if you think about it, Pete, I'm certainly not worthy to care for and carry the body of Christ. I don't even think the Pope is worthy of that. But yet, here we are, stewards of the body and blood of Christ. Pete was a very good Eucharistic minister, especially in the ministry of bringing communion to the sick at home. I had occasion to go with him one Sunday morning, and uh, when the sick woman's daughter opened the door and we went in, Pete was carrying the Eucharist, and he said, peace be to this house. And I knew it was so. Peace came to this house with Pete and Jesus. Are you and I worthy of the body of Christ? Are you and I worthy of what Jesus does for us in his death and rising? No way. Yet Jesus calls us to his table. Jesus calls us to serve him, sometimes as Eucharistic ministers or proclaimers of the word, sometimes as ministry to the hungry and homeless. We're not worthy, but Jesus needs us to be his hands and feet and voice. And with grace, we respond. Also in this reading today, it struck me that um, at least the text does not tell us if Jesus asked permission to come aboard. He just got in the boat, apparently, um, and said, go out a little bit, so he could talk to the people without being pressed in upon. And then when he was done with the teaching, he says, put out into the deep. Peter hesitates, but he goes ahead, being called into the deep with Jesus. That's um, sometimes a scary thing, but it's a beautiful and awesome thing. Jesus is calling us to love him and walk with him and serve with him.